there are two simple things you can do to improve your scores on your bar exam, and they have nothing to do with the actual study of the law. Now, I'm not suggesting that you don't have to study and learn the law, but these two things, if you employ them, will improve your scores. I've seen it happen repeatedly for many students. Hi, my name is Jackson Mummy. I'm the founder of Celebration Bar Review. I'm called the Bar Whisperer, and for over 30 years, I've helped people just like you make the next bar exam their last bar exam. The first of our two secrets, simply enough, is exercise. I suggest that you exercise three to five times a week for at least 30 minutes in each exercise session. This exercise should be mostly aerobic, treadmill, swimming, an elliptical machine, stationary bike or bicycling outside, or just walking outside, but make it a brisk aerobic walk. And it should include some coordination. So things like playing tennis or doing Pilates or pickleball or yoga or weightlifting, anything that involves balance along with your aerobics will be the most beneficial to you. You want to do that for 30 minutes, three to five times a week. And then here's the key. Immediately after your workout, you do your bar study. And when you do that, you're going to see several benefits. One is that it will improve your memory retention. Secondly, it will improve your focus. And third, it will improve your ability to make connections between different parts of the material. That's not just my anecdotal observation. That's actually the scientific work of Dr. John Rady from the Harvard School of Medicine. He wrote a book called Spark. It's about education and exercise and the connection between the two. And we've seen it play out for hundreds of our students. In our course, we'll tell you a lot more about that and how to make those work for you in your specific circumstance. But remember, exercise three to five times a week, you will see enormous benefits in your studies. And here's one key trick to keep in mind. Do not try to read your bar review materials or listen or watch your bar review lectures or practice bar review questions while you're doing this exercise time. Studies have shown that this actually reduces the effectiveness of that learning if you try to do it while you're exercising. Because what's happening is you're moving too much blood away from your brain and from the conscious part of the brain where it actually needs to be. So that's secret number one to exercise. Secret number two is going to sound a little weird to some of you, but it's incredibly effective. We call this secret neural reconditioning. The idea here is that you need to program your subconscious or non-conscious brain while your conscious brain is learning all of this new material for the bar exam. Your subconscious brain, as you know, is taking care of the important things like blinking and breathing, making sure that you don't walk into walls, all that important stuff. But your non-conscious mind is an incredibly efficient machine, and it's essentially unable to tell the difference between reality and fiction. So whatever it's told to do, it does it. Now, what that means for you is that if you can condition your subconscious with a set of beliefs or ideas or affirmations about what's happening, things like, I'm passing the bar exam. I see myself opening the email that says, congratulations, you passed. I'm calm and relaxed during the exam. I'm focused and able to study. I'm prepared for the test. All of those statements are taken by your non-conscious, and they are taken as commands to the extent that your non-conscious begins to work and affect those statements. They become part of your neural conditioning, part of the way that you function. So one of the things that you want to do to improve your bar score is to have a series of what I would call bar review affirmations that you repeat to yourself every day. If it sounds a little silly to read them out loud to yourself, I can tell you that in our course, we provide them for you as part of the course materials. They're subliminally put under music, so it's nice to just listen while you're doing that workout that I was talking about in secret number one. But you need to do that for at least 30 days. Why? Studies have shown that it takes about 30 days to implant new ideas in the non-conscious brain. Part of the idea here is that your non-conscious will drive you toward the goals that you've set. If you're telling yourself, I can't pass, I'm not smart enough, I'm too slow when I write, I'm too stupid, I'm not good at answering questions, whatever those statements might be, your non-conscious takes those as commands. And in fact, it draws you directly to that result. One of the keys to being successful in the bar is to have positive expectations. Again, in our course, we're going to show you exactly how those affirmations work, how they're employed, and how they improve their studies. I hope you'll try these two simple techniques today. Watch your results improve. And for more information, check out our website at celebrationbarreview.com.